So finally, the 30 millimeter closed cell foam with the foil backing and the self adhesive came, which means I can do that wall. Don't know if it's called a wall, but where the hull is there underneath the carpet, that is where the 30 millimeter closed cell foam is gonna be. So first we need to get rid of the cushions, get rid of the nets, and then get rid of the carpet. So while the cushions are out, I might as well point out that while I sleep in here, the moisture that is hitting the untreated plywood is doing that. I had the heater on it today. The reason I've not treated it yet and I've put it back in is, well, I've put it back in so I can have somewhere to sleep, but I've not treated it yet because those little blocks that I mentioned, um, well, they were supposed to be here but they seem to have got lost in the post. So I might need to sand these down, uh, use the penetrating epoxy, and maybe even paint them while the, the wood I've ordered turns up. Don't know when that'll get here. It's really a good job I'm not keeping that as it is because the glue tore it all off. But I'm going to be insulating that anyway, so not a problem. So what I'm going to have to do here, because of all of this, most of it's peeling off in that little spot there it's not it's not leaving much behind so hopefully it'll be a lot easier because what I was going to do was hit it with the sanding attachment on an angle grinder and then wipe it down with alcohol before sticking up the 30 mil closed cell phone I'll give this a little peel and see how far we get. So after half an hour, that is all I've got, and I've got that to do. So the whole point of me using my hand and picking it off little bit by little bit was trying to reduce the amount of fiberglass that I'd kick up in the air tonight, so I could go to sleep without too much clean up, and then key it properly tomorrow. But the amount of time this has taken me, I think it would be quicker to sand it all off tonight and clean up. And I should have that done quicker than sitting here. Picking it off. See if this is any good.
it's definitely going to be a clean up job. But I think that's better. Finally, all done. But it's half eleven, so that's eleven thirty at night. And uh, I've only just finished this, so I didn't get a chance to do that side. And I'm going to be uploading a video every Sunday. It doesn't matter where I'm at with the job. The update will come on Sunday because when I delayed to show you the propeller puller, it, it just knocked everything out of sync. one done all I need to do now is join up that and that is ready to go in for a dry fit okay so it's now loosely cut to size if you just measure the longest point along the v-berth and then the, the widest point that gives you a, a rough area to work with you cut that out once you get it in there you should only need a little bit of trimming So a final wipe down with alcohol and then a little hoover up just to make sure there are no bits I'm trying to clog up the adhesive. Time to give it a nice rub down with alcohol to get rid of the rest. So there we have it, all fitted, although the fitment isn't quite as nice as I would have liked. Honestly, if I've learned anything, it's this is either a two-man job or not to do it in full length. So when I do this side, I think the, the lesson that I've learned is not to try and do it in one long continuous strip you think it would be easier and I think with two people it might be but if I was to do it in half meter lengths it would let me do it do a strip make sure it fits right do another strip make sure it's butted up make sure it fits right and work my way along a little bit of glue to to close up the seams and it will be as good as one long continuous strip but doing this in one long strip 
means the the fitment it it isn't as neat as I would like it. But I'm very happy with it. I've had to leave a gap up there that should be closed when I put the carpet up. And all that means is when I take this off, I have access to the bolts which connect the uh, the deck to the hull. I don't know what they're called, but if they start to leak, I need access to them, and I really don't want to strip all this out just to get to a couple of bolts. One problem, um, think uh, well, one problem I think I'm going to have is under here the water tank when it's partially filled uh, I've read that the water sloshes around and makes quite an annoying sound so I don't know if anyone else has had that problem or if they found any solutions if you want to let me know in the comments if it's worth insulating underneath the, the ply board here and making a lid that's also insulated there I don't know if it's worth insulating with a foam backing underneath but if anyone else has had that problem and they found a solution or it might not even be a problem maybe what I read was wrong I don't know but while I'm doing all this I might as well try and sort it but now what I'll do is strip that back start sanding again and I have got one meter left over from this which I'll put the wool I've got 80 centimeters which I'll put there and then I'll measure the distance and I think I'm going to need two more meters I think I've got enough off cuts to do just the bottom of the chain locker it's also worth mentioning that while I am including a lot of insulation in here you have the foil back in you have 30 millimeters of closed cell foam and the self adhesive while it is a lot especially for someone who says they want to sail to the Caribbean it's worth mentioning that I am insulating below the waterline and including so much insulation above the waterline not because I'm going to, to tropical places where you don't really need to worry about condensation but because I do plan on sailing colder climates I, I do I do want to go north while I'm insulating the hull it, it makes sense to to plan for that not to have to strip it all out or add more insulation later so so that's just the that's the reason I, I'm, I'm insulating so much I, I, I just don't want anyone to watch this and think this is the amount of insulation you need when I was doing the research into how much in insulation you need 12 millimeters being the minimum is what is what I was told and often if I'm pronouncing that right commented and, and, and asked why I was insulating below the waterline and why I'm using so much insulation so I just thought I'd explain for everyone the the, the reason behind it. I, I, I don't want people to waste money on insulation if, they, if they're going to warmer places or if anyone's planning on going to warmer places you really you, you don't need this much insulation next week all this should be stripped out sanded it should have the same insulation on but unfortunately I went to try and get the carpet yesterday which is why I was so late starting this and for the five meter lengths of carpet that I need the widths I need to wait a couple of weeks uh, possibly three weeks for it to be delivered so in the meantime I can be sealing these I can be making a new lid there and trying to build up the slats to get the circulation going.